So in this video, I'm going to explain uh, Brouwer's fixed point theorem. Okay, so this says uh, uh, let f be a uh, map from the n-dimensional ball, the n-dimensional closed ball to itself, uh, <clears throat> and it's supposed to be continuous. Uh, then there's a fixed point. Uh, in other words, uh, exists uh, a in B n with uh, f of a being equal to a. <coughs> Okay, so uh, <coughs> proof is going to rely on a certain on a kind of geometric construction, a little lemma that we're going to uh, discuss first. Uh, or, so the uh, um, we have to define a certain map. Uh, well, so firstly, we're going to put X as the set of pairs uh, A B in uh, B n cross B n with A different from B. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> this is uh, Bn cross Bn, we give the product topology, and uh, this, uh, this space we give the subspace topology, so that's an open subspace of Bn cross Bn. And, uh, <clears throat> and we're going to define M uh, from X to Sn minus 1, uh, the boundary of Bn by uh, um, Mab is, uh, well, we'll draw the picture first. Okay, so. Uh, Here's our Bn, it's the case n equals 2, of course, and then maybe we've got uh, uh, point A here and a point B here. What we can do is we draw a, a line starting from uh, B, passing through A and going out until it hits the boundary, and uh, we define this to be Mab. And so in words, uh, this is the point where the uh, line segment um, uh, from B uh, through A hits Sn minus 1. Okay. So notice it's important here that we our pair A, B is in X, so B, A and B are different. Uh, if A and B were the same, then we wouldn't know which direction to draw the line in. Uh, but uh, because B is different from A, we, we do know which direction. We can uh, draw this line, and it will eventually escape uh, from the ball uh, at some point MAB. Uh, that's, that's our definition of M. Uh, so we're going to need to know that uh, this MAB is continuous. So this uh, should be kind of uh, intuitively plausible. You can kind of see if you just uh, wiggle your A and your B a bit, then the point MAB uh, won't change very much. But we'll uh, we'll give a, for, a more formal proof of that in a second. Okay, so to prove MAB is continuous, we'll, we'll uh, uh, just give a formula for it in terms of functions that are well known to be continuous. So, uh, so what is this MAB? Um, well, it's going to be a plus some positive multiple of the vector uh, from uh, a minus. Uh, a minus b. Right? Uh, <coughs> we start at a and then we do uh, you know, carry on in the a minus b direction there. Um, well, for t, where t is going to be uh, certainly going to be po uh, positive because we're moving out in this direction. Uh, And what's, our, what's the value of t? Well, it's determined by the fact that uh, we're supposed to have a norm equal to 1. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, we can just sort of expand this out. It's going to give us a, a quadratic function for uh, of t. Uh, so yeah, we've got to get the, uh, we get, uh, get the norm a minus b squared t squared, you know, just uh, expanding out the dot product of this vector with itself. <coughs> and then uh, and then you get uh, you have two cross terms. So you take the dot product of this one with this one. Uh, so that's two uh, a dot a minus b t. Uh, and then your constant term is the norm of a squared. But then you've got a one on the other side. Uh, uh, so we've got uh, 
Um, so we've got this quadratic here, and now it's going to have two roots. One, uh, you know, because you know, we we could uh, we could also hit the uh, hit the boundary by going out in the negative direction, out uh, past b. Uh, that would give you a negative value of t. Uh, we want the positive value of t, so we want the kind of plus sign in the quadratic formula. Um, uh, so we have our <coughs> <coughs> uh, so we've got our minus b, which will be 2a dot uh, b minus a, plus the square root of the square of this, which is 4a uh, dot a minus b all squared, uh, and then <coughs> minus 4ac, which is so that's uh, okay, plus 4 uh, uh, multiplied by a uh, 1 minus norm a squared, um, square root of all that, uh, divided by uh, <coughs> um, 2a, which is uh, 2, like so. Okay. <coughs> um, so yeah, the, um, we should maybe check that this, uh, uh, there's nothing going wrong with this formula. First, we take a square root of something. We ought to check that it's a square root of a non-negative quantity. But you know, here we've got a square which is non-negative. Norm a minus b squared that's non-negative, and a remember is in the uh, in the unit ball. Uh, so uh, norm a squared is less than or equal to one. So this is all non-negative. So that's all good. And then uh, a and a and b are different. So a minus b is not the zero vector. So this uh, norm a minus b squared that's uh, strictly positive, and it's okay to divide by it. Um, uh, so, so this is a continuous function, a well-defined continuous function of a, b. Uh, so our uh, t depends continuously on a and b, and therefore so does this f. Okay, so now we see that uh, this uh, m, this map m here, is a continuous map, and that's going to be an ingredient that we need in uh, uh, in doing the uh, <coughs> uh, in doing the proof of Brout's theorem. <coughs> okay, so now uh, to prove Brout's theorem, uh, suppose for a contradiction, uh, we've got f from b n to b n. Continuous um, uh, with uh, f of a different from a for all a. Okay, so as remember, Brouwer's theorem says that there always exists some a with f of a equals a. Uh, so uh, if we can prove that this is impossible, then we've proved that. <clears throat> okay, um, so just uh, uh, we can define a map now r from. Uh, <coughs> Uh, Bn to Sn minus 1, uh, R of A is just going to be M of A comma F of A. Uh, <clears throat> and that's also continuous. And then, uh, I guess you should have probably said this earlier, um, yeah, this, uh, uh, this, is, this is going to be the identity on the boundary, okay? Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I mean, if A happens to lie in Sn minus 1, uh, then we know that uh, uh, R of A is M A F of A. So that's going to be equal to A. So let's ex just explain why that is. Right, you know, here you've got, uh, uh, we're assuming that our A is on the boundary, uh, and then uh, F of A is somewhere else. Uh, and then how do we do, how do we get uh, m of a f of a? Well, the prescription was we take a line from f a to a, and then we continue it until it hits the boundary. Uh, but it's already at the boundary, so uh, this is the same. Okay, um, m a f a is just equal to a in this case. Um, okay, so. Uh, Uh, 
so this is telling us that uh, R is gives us a retraction of Bn onto Sn minus one. Um, <clears throat> and so now uh, we can define H from uh, zero one cross Sn minus one. Now we define uh, H from zero one cross Sn minus one to Sn minus one uh, by uh, H of T A is just going to be R of T times A. So uh, uh, H1A is just A, and H0A is R of zero, which is a constant. Uh, um, uh, so we conclude that Sn minus one is contractible. This is a contraction. It's a homotopy from the identity map to a constant map. That's what we meant by a contraction. Um, uh, <clears throat> and this uh, contradicts what we know about the uh, homology of, uh, of spheres. If it was contractible, then it would have the same homotopy as a point, just a single z in degree zero. But we know that, in fact, the homology of Sn minus 1 has two copies of Z. Um, so that's a, con a contradiction. It shows that this map F here can't exist. And therefore, every map, every continuous self-map of uh, Bn actually has a fixed point, which is Brouwer's theorem.